In this lesson, I'm going to give you a live demonstration of what to do after your website gets hacked. However, please keep in mind that this particular demonstration is only for people that have a full backup of both their website files and their database. If you do not have either of those, please see the other live demonstration video that is included in this series. Now to begin with, before I actually start the live demonstration of restoring a website, I thought I would show you first the beginning part of it. This is the backup portion. Once you have built your website and you're not going to be changing content anymore, then you would want to make a backup of both the files and the database on the website. And then anytime you make changes to your site or add anything new to it, you would want to make a fresh set of backups. That way you will always have an up-to-date backup on hand in the event that anything goes wrong. So to begin with, you want to go to your control panel and open up your file manager and also PHP My Admin. In the file manager, we want to navigate to the directory where we have WordPress installed for this website. Now on my site, this is the public HTML directory, but on your site, it could be a subfolder that is within the public HTML directory. It all just depends on your hosting account, how many sites you have installed on that hosting account, and ultimately where you have WordPress running. Now you can usually tell where WordPress is running because you're going to see the typical files for it. wp-config.php. You're also going to see folders like wp-admin, wp-content, wp-includes. So when you know you are where you have installed WordPress and you're positive this is the correct website that you want to be working with, then what you want to do is go up one level and select the folder that you were just in. Now you can either go up here and click on compress or you can even just right click it here and click compress. And this is going to create a backup for you. Now use this gzipped tar archive backup and if you would like to, which is something I recommend to do actually, date your file this way you can tell which one was your most recent backup that you created. And then finally compress it. This is going to put all of your public site files into one single compressed file. That is this file right here that I just created. So now I would want to download this file and save it to my computer to ensure that I have a copy of it stored outside of my website. I want to flip over to PHP My Admin now and show you how this backup is done. To begin with, we want to find the appropriate database for our website. If you only have one of them on this hosting account, such as I do, then it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward. If you have more, expand each database one at a time and click on the table that ends with the word options. Inside of that table you should be able to see the website address for your site to verify that you are in the correct database. Once we know we are in the correct database then we want to go back up to the top and click on the name of it so we see a listing of all the tables in that database. And finally we're going to go over to the export tab and click on go and we're going to save this file. So that file that we just saved is a backup of our entire website database. And the previous file that we made here in File Manager, this is a backup of all of the files on our website. These two things combined can be used to completely restore your website in the event of a hacking. So now I want to show you how you actually proceed through doing this. Start off with your files, go into that directory that you previously did a backup for, 
This time though, you want to select all the files and all the folders that are there. And you actually want to delete them. I recommend skipping the trash and permanently deleting these files, especially if you are 100% positive that you have a backup that you are going to be able to restore. So I'm going to confirm this, and now my website is completely empty. So now I'm going to go back up one level once again. Now that my website is empty, then I would come in here and upload this file that I had for my backup. Whichever file you want to restore, you want to upload that file here, and then you can right click on it and extract it. Or you can click on it and click extract up here on the top. Either one works. So now I'm just going to extract it. I didn't enter in anything in that text box before. That way it retains the original directory structure that I had. And now when I go back into public HTML, all of my files are restored and nothing here is going to be a malicious file as long as that backup that I was restoring was clean. For the database, I essentially want to do the same thing that I just did. First, I want to remove the information that's there to make sure that nothing malicious will be remaining. And then I want to replace it with my backup information. So in that page where I view all of the tables for my database, I get there by clicking on the name of the database. I then want to select all of my tables here. And finally, I want to either empty or drop the tables. Now, emptying them will remove all of the records from the tables. Dropping them will delete the entire table and all of the data that is found within it. I'm going to go ahead and do a drop on mine. This deletes all of these tables. The reason why I'm going to do a drop instead of empty is just to be on the safe side, just to make sure that there are no new database tables that have been added by a hacker. So doing this, I now have a completely empty database. There's nothing left in it. There's no tables. There is no data. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to import. I want to click on Browse and find the file that I downloaded. Once I've clicked on Browse and found this file that I downloaded previously for my database backup, then I can go below and click on Go. Now depending on how big your database is, this part can sometimes take a minute or so. But after it is finished, you'll see a success message up here. Import has been successfully finished. You do want to make sure that you see this success message or else something may have gone wrong. You may want to go back through and wipe out the entire database like I did if you experience anything but a success message here. So now I not only have my database tables back then in it, but all of the content that was within those tables is also restored. So doing these two simple restorations, one for the files through the file manager, removing anything that's there, and then replacing it with the backed up content, and then finally doing the same thing with the database tables removing everything that's there, and then importing our backup to replace everything. These two things will completely wipe out anything malicious that has been done to your site and restore your site to a previous point in time, and that is whenever you made that backup from. So the important part here is just make sure that your backup that you're going to be using is indeed from a time when your website was not infected by anything. 
And once you have restored these, then you are completely clean and ready to move on from the hacking attack.